all, um, my name is Esther Thomas. I'm Ms. Harris, Nathaniel Pettit, and Louis Street. We are bound to graduates with the great pleasure of working with Claudia, Christina, and the South Coast team to give support. We were able to do so thanks, in large part, to the efforts of Jenna, Jenna Kozak, Oscar Dagnett, Professor Bell, and Professor Sandy Williams. Through an Urban Studies Department Independent Study Project, we were among a group of 20 students who conducted research on the state's housing crisis in partnership with many organizations in the room today. We hope that our classes work can be the beginning of sustained collaboration between the many of students and faculty dedicated to fixing the housing crisis and community partners to come back every day. This report would also not have been possible without the contributions of student volunteers to housing opportunities for people everywhere, HOPE, a student-run advocacy organization at Brown. HOPE students played a critical role in scanning online listings for discrimination for a two-week period, significantly contributing to the report's findings. In HOPE's 15-year history, we have paired direct service and advocacy work to serve marginally housed or lavenders. Our volunteers who serve as nighttime outreach workers, connecting people experiencing homelessness to housing resources, constantly hear about seemingly never-ending barriers people, facing, people face in finding a home. Your outreach. Many of us have the great pleasure of calling Will Walter our friend. Will is an outreach worker with the Rhode Island Homeless Advocacy Project. Those of you who know Will know that Rhode Island's experiencing homelessness have no, have no better friend or ally. A couple of days ago, Will posted on Facebook, I used to get excited when someone I had been working with got a housing voucher. I don't anymore. We have nowhere to put people, and the majority of places available are not fit for human habitation. Will is, as usual, right about the system failures. We hope that the legislation proposed by Representative Williams and Senator Metz this session will, hope, will make source of income discrimination illegal and expand our ability and the, uh, the ability of dedicated public servants like Will to help those in need. Members of our community are already face enough hurdles to accessing decent, safe, and affordable housing. For many, the path out of homelessness and into housing stability is a housing choice voucher, fast voucher, social security check, or other forms of public assistance. Eliminating discriminatory barriers to those outcomes, which will ultimately uplift us all, is common sense. We hope look forward to working with you all to accomplish that goal this session. 